This is Mafia 2, a gritty drama and chronicles the rise of Vito Scaletta, the son of Sicilian. Emigrates from Sicily to the city of Empire Bay in 1932, looking for a better living, hoping to live the American dream. Well, Vito met Joe, his best friend, and both looking to make some easy money. Vito gets busted for robbery in 943, is given a choice to go to jail or join the army. Vito decides the army is the best choice. I mean, I would do the same. You will get to play a small part of Vito's time in the war, but this is more like teaching you the basics of equipping a gun and throwing a grenade and so on. Vito then returns to Empire Bay on sick leave and is due back in a month. Vito reunites with his old pal Joe. Pure bromance, I tell ya. Joe pulled a few strings and Vito is suddenly free from the service. Oh, whoa, whoa. Did you just... Like I said, I know people. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito's mother and sister is overjoyed to see him back from the war. Vito then soon discovers his father left a bit of a mess behind and later becomes mixed up with a mob in hopes of paying his father's debts. Then Joe hooks up Vito with some work to prove himself, climbing the ladder with crimes of big rewards and consequences. Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. Well, Vito gets arrested again, but this time he's sent to jail for a very long time in scrubbing toilets. Vito soon meets someone who teaches him some basic fights and cutting his jail time short. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Walked out of that prison gate. It was like a whole new world. Vito returns home, the year is 1951, and much has changed, even the music on the radio. Ah, pure freedom. Apart from the story, the remastered version boosts some very nice visuals and detail. Sun glaring and reflecting of the snowy, icy and dry roads. Puzzling streets full of activity, smoking chimneys, workers mull around the docks. Unloading cargo from ships, some funny, unexpected moments while listening to some of the best music hits from the 40s up to the 50s, which combine into a wonderful world. If you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops! Well, if you're as good with a wrench as you were with your mouth, we could have this damn thing fixed already. Well, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't record any of the music due to copyright. And you'll see yourself doing a variety of illegal tasks from breaking in, stealing, and lots of cool mafia gunfights. Ha, your standoff. With a nice cover system that works well, I had no complaints. And if your health is low, just grab yourself a sandwich from the fridge. Or just steal someone's McDonald's burger. Now that's just rude. Another way of getting your health up, just get yourself a drink, drink too much and you'll start seeing double. Though it won't have any effect on your character's movement, but just a blurry vision. And you can also buy some clothing at a clothing store and it will be added to your closet for those who want to look sleek and smooth before doing a job. Well, I like looking gangster. And before hitting up a job, Get to a gun store and equip yourself with the many weapons Mafia 2 has to offer. Every weapon is legit, I can guarantee. Well, there's from pistols to grenades, depending on which store you're going to. McCluskey and Sons got the lower firepower, and Harry, well, he's got the good stuff. An excellent weapon. You'll get your own garage where you can store your. <clears throat> Stolen vehicles 
And if you're out in the city, why not visit the nearest mechanic and get your ride pimped? You can buy a small variety of rims, custom designs, repaint, or supercharge the hell out of it. If you feel the need for speed. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate the business. And if your car gets totaled, the cool thing is, you can just get out and fix it yourself. And every car comes with its own design and handles differently, coupled with cool physics, making you want to pull out the sexiest lights. And if you need a new ride, you can lockpick or you can just ask the nice lady to get out. If you get caught, you'll soon be getting chased by very angry cops and they'll be on you like peanut butter on jelly. The more you resist, the worse they become. And if you want to get rid of them, you can either bribe them or call in a favor in one of the phone booths that's scattered around the city. Oh and don't forget, you can actually run out of gas. I'm not kidding. So fill up. Capiche? And if you want to take a break from the main game, you can go through the family album, the car cyclopedia, the playboy just waiting for you to collect them all. I tried. Don't judge. And wanted posters. Note. Please take note. A lot of the collectibles I got during missions. So keep an eye out when doing a mission. And then there's the three additional content that'll keep you busy for another number of hours. The Betrayal of Jimmy and Jimmy's Vendetta offers a more arcade-like gameplay while still maintaining the basic structure, style and controls as Mafia 2. Players earn points for doing certain actions, such as killing enemies, driving fast, and destroying vehicles. All these points will be added up to a rating at every end of a mission and loaded up to the scoreboard. So, making points. And then there's Joe's Adventure. The game features new arcade style missions similar to Jimmy's Vendetta but also has story missions and cutscenes like Mafia 2. And you will get to see what Joe's been up to during Vito's six year time in jail. No, no, fuck! Well, this is my first time playing Mafia 2 and to be honest, I seriously loved it from the start to finish. The difficulty on easy was okay, but on medium and hard will have you ducking and covering every second. I played through it the medium setting and it was a bit of a challenge and quite frustrating at times. And with the collectibles and additional content, you have yourself a reason for a second playthrough. Well, the only issue I had during play was the bad frame drops. It can go from bad to worse and a couple of glitches but hopefully this gets patched in the near future Hi folks, I'm Steve if you are expecting a gta like game then you're going to be disappointed it's a linear generic cover shooter but it makes up for it with its mission variety awesome voice acting plot twists personality sense of humor the atmosphere the music in the busy streets of Empire Bay. Again, thank you for watching another quick game review. And if you played it already, please let me know what you think in the comment section. Trust me. Well, thanks.